Hey guys and welcome back to another Train Simulator video and in today's video we're going to be driving the Class 378 London Overground Train and I believe we're doing a stopping service from Clapham Junction to Stratford obviously Clapham Junction is not in the game but we're going to be starting a, we'll be starting just outside Wilson Junction and be doing a stopping service all the way to Stratford so let's on the lights. There's the wrong lights. Let's put the wipers on because it's raining. Let's put the lights on. There we go. And let's get going. So yeah, we're gonna be driving a class 378 London Normal Grand Train. Our first stop is Walton Junction, platform four. I'm going to be doing a stopping service all the way to Stratford, which is only 13 miles away. Another overground train coming the other way, going to Clapham Junction. Very nice. It's 5 11 in the morning, so it'll be a little bit dark, but that's okay. There's a 30 miles an hour speed limit, so. Let's not go too fast. I believe we're going uphill as well, so... Let's actually maintain the speed. So yeah guys, I'm back with another train simulator video. It's been a few days since I posted my last one, but... I've been busy the last couple of days, and... Yeah, I've been live streaming every day and I will be live streaming Train Simulator this week. I'm not too sure when I'm going to do it, but I'll let you guys know. It'll probably be around 45 minutes to an hour. I'll probably just play a scenario during the live stream and that'll probably be it. And obviously you guys can watch me play it live. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a second monitor, so monitor looking at the chat and playing train simulator is a problem for me. I probably have to check the chat through my phone, so if I can't reply back to any of your comments, then I do apologize when I do live stream train simulator. And I can't tab in and out of the game because it'll just crash the game, unfortunately. So sorry about that. But yeah, this week will be the live stream of my first live stream of Train Simulator. I'll try to do it for like Wednesday, Thursday, probably, or maybe even a weekend time when I know a lot more of you can watch me live stream. It will be the same time as I normally live stream, which is 7 p.m. UK time in the evening. So yeah, stay tuned for that guys. Just heading into Bulls and Junction now soon. I don't know why there's a 20 mile speed limit actually. Like we're still like 0 0.5 away from Bulls and Junction. A bit annoying actually. Trying hard not to speed. Is that a red signal or not? Oh yes it is. It is a red signal, thank god I, I saw that. Okay, let's stop here. There might be a train in front of us, maybe. Let's take a screenshot actually. There we go. Another one, maybe? Nah. That'll do. It doesn't seem to be a train in front of us. There's a train coming back to Clapham Junction, I'm guessing. 
Or maybe Richmond, I'm not too sure. Okay, we can't go through, so... I'm guessing that train's going to Richmond, and has to cross over the, our platform, so... I mean, our piece of track, so... Unfortunately, we have to wait here for a bit. As you can see, that train will be going straight towards Richmond, and we're going to be coming from here all the way to Wilson Junction. So this is where the West Coast Main Line is, where we sh where we should be seeing some Class 390s, Class 350s, and Class 220s, but. I guess the person who made this scenario didn't add them. There's a bunch of London Overground trains here though, look at that. One, two, three, six Overground trains, wow. Actually, we can take a screenshot of that actually, why not? It's not like you see that many Overground trains at once. So yeah, that train would be goes going straight, and then we should be able to go. Let's go into Richmond. Okay, we should be able to go now. There we go. Unfortunately, there's no briefing on this scenario, which kind of sucks. It would be nice if the author added uh, a briefing telling us that we're going to be doing a service from Clapham Junction to Will um, Stratford. But I guess he didn't bother. Oh, we're speeding apparently. Really? I didn't realize there's a 15 speed limit in coming into um, Wilson Junction. I'm guessing because we're changing tracks. Yeah, that makes sense. Going over the West Coast Main Line. Nice. There's a London bus down there. We can speed up a little bit. Back up to 20 miles an hour. We are only driving a four car train. Would have been nice if it was a five car train, because obviously London Old Ground uses five car trains now instead of four cars, which increases capacity. I do take a London Old Ground quite often, so the extra capacity does help. Even though it's only one more extra carriage. So yeah, Wilson Junction, really busy station. I would normally walk down this passageway and down the stairs over here. And go underneath all the way up to Wilson Junction station entrance and then leave the station. Let's take a screenshot. Nice. There we go. I think another train's coming in. I think maybe. But let's get going. I don't think there's any ETA. Only at Gospel Oak and I believe Stratford. No, um, Highbury, Islington, and. Well, there's no ETA for Stratford, so. Only two stations. We need to be on time. And we should be fine. So, next station, Kendall Rise. Speed up now. Uh oh, we're speeding, holy shit. Yeah, this this train speeds up quite fast. It is like an electro star anyway, so what do you expect? If we're gonna put full throttle then yeah. Twice speeding already, that's not good. I do try not to speed, but what can you do if something happens?
Heading into Kensal Rise Station. And after that is Bronzebury Park. Platform 2. And obviously Platform 1 is the other way. Heading to Richmond and Clapham Junction. Has it stopped raining now? I think so. It's kind of jizzling still, so we'll leave it on for now. The wipers. So yeah, this scenario should last around 40, 45 minutes. I know there's a lot of um, stops, but it shouldn't take too long. Because the, all the stations are within like a mile of each other. Okay, let's not use the emergency brake. They have changed the brakes for this train. Before it was really good, but they made it a little bit less good. So you need to be careful when braking with this, with this train. Let's put on a screenshot. There we go. So yeah, this is a passenger view. Probably one of the best passenger views in Train Simulator. Because it's see-through. I mean, there's no nothing blocking each carriage, which is nice. And here's the map of the London Underground Network. Obviously, it's not the full map. But obviously, you can see the Watford DC line and Richmond and Clapham Junction branch to all the way to Stratford. All the way to West Croydon. We're basically up here. If I could see it. We're basically at Broadway Park, just outside Wilson Junction. The overground network is much bigger now. And they should update that map, actually. But you know how Dovetail Games is. They never want to do any extra work. They don't really update. They, are, they update the game, but not as much as people would like. They are fixing the problems, though, so... That's nice. I'm guessing that most of them are working on the train symbol for next year. Which we, all, we are all excited for. Heading to Bronzebury Park Station. And let's slow down now because... Okay, the emergency brakes are really strong. Nice. There we go. Bronzebury Park. That is blurry as fuck. We won't have to change the um, power from DC to AC because obviously we're on the Clapham Junction branch. Actually, do we? No, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure we don't have to. I think it's only between Richmond and Bolton Junction. I think at Acton Central you have to change from DC to AC. So I actually forgot how to do it. So I'd probably like would struggle to remember. I think it's pretty straightforward, but it's been a while since I dri driven this train. Next station, Bronzebury. In West Hampstead. Don't need to go too fast because the next station is just here. Still pretty dark outside. Should get a bit brighter soon, hopefully. Yeah, let's slow down now. Open the doors. There we go. So 
Let's go into the passenger view. Everyone seems like they're having a good time. Not. Enjoy your hot what? Pastry is it? Benji's pasties. What's that? Upgrade? Update or something like that? Let's get going. Don't want to be late, do we? We can open the window, so let's do that. On both sides. There we go. Next station, West Hampstead. You can change for obviously Fames Link services and the Jubilee Line train. Not a Metropolitan Line, unfortunately. If you go to um, Finchley Road from West Hampstead in a Jubilee Line, you can then change for Metropolitan Line. Oh yeah, Jubilee Line and Fames Link services. West Hampton actually has three stations, which is kind of funny. Like you literally have to like walk up the station and onto the street and go into another station to like, if you want to go for Fames Link services or the Jubilee line. They're all separate stations basically, which is kind of annoying. When you have to switch from one station to another. Let me actually quickly show you. Um, so yeah, basically this is this is where the Jubilee line comes in and out of West Hampstead Station. I believe these tracks are for the Chiltern Chiltern Railways, and the ones here I believe is for the we call it Metropolitan Line. Oops. That was weird. Okay, next station Finchley Road and Frognall. We should go over the tracks where the Fames Link services go. I believe it's on this side. One sec. Yeah, there we go. So basically, I think that's West Hampstead Station. Obviously, it is in the game. I believe you do have to own the London to Bedford route to have it on the North London line. Maybe, I'm not too sure. I do want both routes, so just so you know. Finchley Road and Frognall, platform 2. Starting to rain a bit more now. Let's slow down. So far we're doing a good job. But there's no time no time schedule unfortunately, so as long as we stop at the station we should see a tick. We should get a tick. Okay, this is Finchley Road and Frognal Station. Nothing spectacular, that's for sure. Pretty basic. Let's watch the train leave the station. Next station, Hampstead Heath. I believe we're halfway through the journey. So we've done six stops already and I think it's 18 stops. Yeah, 18 stops, so three more stops and we'll be halfway. Another train coming the other way. I'm guessing going to Clapham Junction or Richmond. I think it was Clapham Junction.
There shouldn't be any yellow signals in front of us, hopefully. I believe this is an easy scenario, so we shouldn't have any more. I think that's because of speed change, maybe. I'm not too sure. Well, the game hates me. The game knows that I hate the AWS sound, so I wouldn't be surprised if you just played it for no reason. Let's slow down now. We slow down a bit too much. Okay, there we go. FPS is staying quite decent actually. It is a pre. Oh my god. See, that's what I mean by the brakes. It takes a while to slow down the train. Just all around that a little bit, but that's okay. They can obviously walk through the carriage and get off at a stop if they want. Good thing about this train that when the doors close, we can actually see it, which is nice. So let's stay in the, this passenger view while we see that. Next stop is Gospel Oak. We have to reach there at 5.33 a.m. We should be there on time, hopefully. Well, that was fast. Let's get going. I actually normally stand on the overground train. I, I don't actually like the seats on the overground train, to be honest with you. They're not the most, um, you know, comfortable seats. And most of the time it's like... Most of the time the seats are quite dirty. Obviously people just like eat and leave their rubbish on the chairs, um, seats. It's obviously not nice, but... Even though you're not allowed to do it, like, people still do it. Okay, 20 miles an hour speed limit. But we're going um downhill, so that kind of sucks. Keep me to keep me needing to like slow down the train. What this train needs is a speed set. I don't think he has one. Yeah, it doesn't have one, unfortunately. Kind of sucks. What's that? That's a class 168. I think that's used for, instead of a class 170, he's using a class 168 for the gospel oak line. That's kind of nice. Would have probably liked a class 170 in a London Overground livery, but that's okay. Game's lagging a little bit. Perfect stop. Actually, we're a bit late, actually. Which is a bit surprising. I think that train's going to depart now. For barking. Where is it? Okay, there it is. Obviously, this, is, this isn't a train that is that runs on this line. It is the Class 170, Turbo Star. But they are upgrading this line at the moment. So, class 378s will be running on this line soon. For those of you who use the line in real life. Let's get going. Okay, so still gave us a tick, which is good. So, we're literally halfway there, pretty much. Once we get to um, Kentish Town West. We speed up now. Kentish Town West, then Camden Town, which is actually where I used to work. Not anymore. Another train coming the other way. 
It would be nice if he horned back, but I guess it's an AI and he can't he can't be programmed to. I feel someone could make that happen. In a custom scenario. Uh we're gonna Hopefully we don't I think we're gonna overshoot it. No, that's okay. Emergency break is such a lifesaver. Look at that. Kentish Town West. Not too sure what, what, where, why would you uh, light here for, but maybe you work here or something. That's the reason why you would come to Kentish Town West. Or want to go to Kentish Town High Street. Okay, next station Camden Road. When I used to work at Camden, I I normally take the Why isn't the train going? But that was so weird. Anyways, When I used to work at um, Camden, I took the Northern Line from um, Edgeway and I went from Edgeway to Camden Town, not Camden Road. I did sometimes take the Oregon train to Camden Road and get, get off there, but most of the time it, it was Camden Town Station because it was it's actually opposite where I worked, so less walking for me, which is good. Lot of 20 miles speed limits on this line. I believe those tracks go to um, the West Coast Main Line, just after um, South Hampstead Station, I believe. I think this is just used for um, freight trains, not um, st stopping services. Okay, Camden Road, platform two. that guy doing? I think he's lost. He looks lost. Open the doors. He's definitely lost. I've been to the station a lot of times and probably the only thing that's real looks like Wait, the only thing that looks real is the bridge. Everything else is pretty much not very, very reali realistic. It's just houses plonked down everywhere. They haven't really put that much effort into the station, in my opinion. Apart from the station itself. Which is a bit disappointing. The, sh the station is very, very um, realistic, but... The rest of it is pretty shit. We can actually go to um, St Pancras International Station if you want to. Because there are tracks that go right, right straight to into um, St Pancras International Station if you want to. But obviously we're not doing it in this video. I did do a service with a class 319 from some Pancras International to um to another station, I think West Hampstead or something. I think a class 319 was on diversion or something like that. It was a pretty interesting scenario, so yeah. 
So yeah, those are the tracks that go to St. Pancras International. I'm glad they added it to the North London line. Nice. Oh yeah, we're driving too slow now. Next station, Caledonian Road in Barnsbury, platform three. Then Highbury and Islington, we have to reach there at 5.45 and leave at 5.45. That doesn't really make any sense. Like, how can you arrive at 5.45 and depart at 5.45? Like, we literally have to reach there, open the doors and close within, like, a couple of seconds and depart or something like that. It's only 5.41 though, so we should be there on time. So now we have four um, pieces of track. These two tracks go to Stratford and obviously these two tracks go to, um, what do you call it? I think it starts at Highbury and Islington. Yeah, that's right. I think sometimes the trains come here. So from Highbury and Islington, like, you can take service to, services to West Croydon, Crystal Palace and platform junction which makes the whole done overground loop if you want to let me stop yep and there is a bug with this um, station where sometimes doors don't open and basically it, it marks you not stopping at the stop even though you are and I, and I believe they have fixed it well, it only happens in that the Korean mod scenarios they provide with the route, so I'm not too sure. I'm guessing it's probably still broken, knowing Dove's all games. Next stop, Highbury and Islington, then Cannonbury. We're getting close to Stratford now. I believe it's like five miles left yep 4.8 miles I think we need to use emergency brake yeah we do okay there we go apparently this is platform 8 don't know why just is. Even though there's only one, two, three and four only four platforms. So I believe this service is going to Clapham Junction, West Croydon. Yep, West Croydon. Let's look at it's departing now. Getting a little bit brighter now. Almost 6 a.m. in the morning. I haven't actually been to Highbury and Islington that many times. Probably like only twice ever. This part of Lo the London Overground Network, I haven't really been too much. And there's no need for me to come to this area. That's the main reason. Like between Camden Road and Clapham Junction, that's my area, mainly. But after that, like, this is, from here to Stratford, I've been only once on this train. And I was like, I think four or five years ago. So I'm sure this has all been updated and all that. They might have added some more platforms, I don't know. 
bit of a weighted high bearing and Islington sensation. We've got like six more stops. One, two, three, yeah, six more stops, I believe, if I can count. Let's get going. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the video so far. Next up, Cannonbury. Let's try not to speed, even though we're going downhill. I believe after Dalston King Kingsland station the trains um split up. Oh we got a lot of services here, that's for sure. Holy damn. Three overgone trains at Canterbury. Now we're seeing some decent AI, which is nice. I think that's the same train that was that departed um, Highbury and Is Islington Station. I think so. Yeah, that train that's departing now. And that train's probably going to, I don't know. Let's actually check. That's going to Highbury and Islington as well. I think that's terminating there. Yeah, that's probably right. Get going next next station Dalston Kingslands train why not going really I, I don't know what's happening with this train now that's so weird I had the same problem with the way you call it um I believe it was the cl one of my scenarios that I posted a few days ago I mean of last week. I think it was when I was driving the class 158 on the, what do you call it, South Wales, South Wales coastal route, like I had the same problem. Like, I, I accelerated and nothing happens, which is weird. So we're going to be stopping at Dalston, Kingland, Hackney Central, Homerton, Homerton. Hackney Wick and then Stratford, which is only three miles away. So basically this is where the trains turn off to West Croydon, Crystal Palace and Clapham Junction. To the right, into a tunnel. I believe the next station on that line is Dalston Junction. But let's just use emergency brake because I'm too lazy. There we go, perfect. Good thing is it doesn't penalize you for using emergency brake because we're not playing Karimo scenario. Which is nice. Decent chairs here. Right, this station is pretty detailed. S car stop passengers must not cross the line. Well, I've crossed it, so sue me. Dalton Junction does exist on this um, route, so if you do want to drive to Dalton Junction, you can. And after that, you can drive to one more station after that, but like the like the station is there, but like there's no sign saying what station it is. I think they were they were planning on making it all the way to Surrey Keys, but apparently they haven't. Kind of sucks that they haven't included Surrey Keys to um, what do you call it, Dalton Junction part of the route. So obviously then we can drive from Clapham Junction all the way to 
Richmond or Clapham Junction to Wilson Junction. The, the long way, I mean. Obviously, you can go from Wilson Junction to Clapham Junction the short way through Shepherd's Bush and Kensington Olympia, Imperial Wharf, Brompton, West Brompton. But going a long way would be amazing. That would be a cool, um, what do you call it, route to do. Like, Dovetail Games misses a lot of opportunities when it comes to making routes. I understand this is a North London line, but they haven't even included the Clapham Junction branch, which is part of the North London line, let's be honest. I guess they were lazy to not be bothered to actually add it. Like, every video I watch when somebody makes, um, Whenever I watch someone drive on this route, all I hear is like the reason why they haven't included a Clapham Junction branch and like Dovetail games are like just a bit too lazy in my opinion. Like this game is amazing but the people who make the game are not Yeah, the people who don't make make the game are not amazing. And they're very lazy. I'm sorry. The truth hurts. We all know it anyway. Hopefully when Train Sim World comes out, like things things like this won't happen where they will only include a small branch line and not include the full line, if that makes sense. Like when the South London network came out, like they didn't include the part between Surrey Keys and Dalton Junction, which they could have added. Like they did add all this. They did add Surrey Keys to the South London network, but any other stations past that they haven't. And like, what's the point? Like, surely they must have thought that people actually wanted to drive from Clapham Junction to um like Highbury Newington or something like that, or even up to at least Dalton Junction. Where London Overground services do terminate. Got speed change to 40 miles an hour. Next station, Homerton. Sounds like Homer from The Simpsons. I believe three more stops left, yep. FBS is holding up, which is nice. There is no more ETA, so it should be all ticks to the end. This is a very short platform, though. Very short. So we do need to use the emergency brake, unfortunately. There we go. I believe this is one of the stations where you can hear a cat. I believe. I think it's one of the stations, I'm not too sure which one. I guess not. Down the stairs we go. Pretty nice bu building for Homerton Station. Normally they wouldn't bother with this, but they have for this station, which is nice. But let's get going. Next station, Hackney Wick, and then Stratford. We should be able to see the um, Olympic Stadium. There might be a yellow signal in front of us, I'm guessing. It looks like a green to me, so... Actually, speed change. Damn. Didn't slow down. You can slow down last minute anyway. Another train coming other way. There we go. 
Very nice. Going over the bridge. Apologies for the lag. I believe this is the bridge where I took my screenshot last time. Let's take another one. For some reason when I take screenshots my FPS counter comes in the screenshot. Before it didn't used to but now it does so... Kind of sucks but... I guess it's not in the way of the screenshot so... It makes for a good screenshot hopefully still. We can slow down now. There we go. Open the doors. Hackney Wick. If you've been to the station before, let me know. I've been here once. Let's actually watch the train depart from this view. There we go, this guy missed the train. He only ha has to wait another 20 minutes for another one, so that's not bad, is it? Let's try another speed, there we go. Next station, Stratford, in 0 0.9 of a mile. Some nice lighting. I think that's the um, Olympic Stadium, I believe. But I'll show you in a minute. Yeah, I believe that's the one. Let me actually show you from a better angle. There we go. It's so nice that they added it to the game. Oh, we need to slow down though. I believe to the right is where the DLR tracks are. So obviously there's DLR services that go from Stratford to Stratford International. I believe it's these ones on the left. Right, sorry. Yeah, these ones. We might have to wait for a service to leave. No, it's a yellow, so we should be fine. I think we're going to reach exactly at 6 o'clock, 6 a.m. in the morning, which is nice. Perfect timing. I'm sure someone will take this train back up to Clapham Junction or Richmond. Over there is where the Great Eastern Main Line is. Services that go from London Liverpool Street up to Chelsford, Shenfield, Romford and things like that. Actually there is a HSD there. I think that's used instead of a class 91 or 90, whichever one runs on this line. And we've got another HSD there. At least there's some AI, which is nice. Heading to Stratford Station. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. I don't think we have to stop right at the end of the platform, so... Once the train gets onto the platform, we can stop. We can go a bit forward, I guess. 
Okay, there we go. Open the doors and that's Yeah, we're at Stratford now. That's the bridge that we can walk over. If you've ever been to Westfield Shopping Centre in Stratford, great place to go shopping, trust me. A lot of shops, very nice. Even though I've only been there once. And that should be the end of the scenario. There we go. Scenario completed, well done, you have completed the scenario success successfully. Thank you very much. That was a great scenario, I will give it a thumbs up. Improper horn used 11 times, I don't care. Speeding twice, that's okay. So yeah guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Share it with your friends and I'll see you in my next train simulator video. Bye guys.